this was it. One of the fastest single engine manufactured airplanes. A top out at about 230 knots um, in miles per hour. That's almost 300 miles per hour. This thing flies. So it flies fast, but you know, when you're flying across the North Atlantic, it takes a bit longer. Uh, but it's a great airplane. It's a Columbia 400. Um, when I flew around the world, it had nothing to melt the ice off the wings. So I would have ice forming on the wings, and which is very dangerous. Um, in addition to that, I took out three of the seats, put in an extra 75-gallon uh, fuel tank made out of steel. And when you're up high in altitude, the airplane gets very cold really fast. Propeller's not a jet engine, propeller-driven engine. And uh, I mean, this thing just really flew well. It flew well, it did what it was supposed to do, and uh, flew through some serious turbulence. Uh, flew through sandstorm, a sandstorm at 17,000 feet. I flew through in this. Sand was coming in the airplane and coming inside the cockpit. And normally planes aren't supposed to make it through that, but I was, I was blessed that the turbochargers are down, located down here, so sand didn't get into the turbochargers, which was, which was really a life saver. Um, you can see it kind of has the Ferrari doors kind of thing going on. Uh, holds up to four people. Uh, when you look inside the avionics, latest and greatest technology, you'll find in a lot of corporate jets. So it, it's a great airplane. It's an airplane, brand new, cost $650,000. I got different parts donated and different sponsors. That's why you see all the stickers and stuff, like it's a race car. So, you know, we're very proud of it. It'll be in a museum uh, in the coming year or so, and, and you know, we're just happy about it.